Hey, I'm Ollie from the King's Parade, and I'm gonna teach you how to play our track Mad for Ultimate Guitar. So uh, let's dive right in with the verse of Mad. Um, now for the verse, there are basically three chords. Uh, and the first one is an F major, it's just standard F major. Sounds a little bit like this. And what you want to do for these chords throughout the verse, you really want to let them ring out, let your reverb ring out. Uh, you want to hear like the whole chord. You're going to play the chord on beat one of every bar. And you're just going to play on that beat one, let it ring out until you play the next. And the next chord is a bit of a funny one. It's kind of like a G minor seven, but instead what I've done is I'm kind of moving my little finger up here on the second string and I'm going to play an E flat. And it's just a lovely chord. It makes it it's kind of mysterious. It makes you want to hear what's coming next, which is perfect for verse. And this chord is uh, like a G minor uh, seven flat 13, basically, but you can call it whatever you like. If you like it, it's a good chord. And the last chord is a B flat, just a B flat major. And then you head straight back to the F. Now what you want to do for all these chords is I'm playing the first four strings basically. I just it just sounds great, especially for that uh, G minor 7 flat 13, you're just getting that ringing out. And then you play the B flat major. So it goes a little bit like this. I thought I saw something in the corner of your eyes, yeah. A flashing of a light like a diamond in the sky. Did I fall into them deep? Did I let it slide? Yeah. And that's verse one. So now you know your verse chords, uh, the second verse, which comes after the first chorus, is the same chords. The only difference is the rhythm, and you're going to have to grab a pick for this one. Because you come out of the chorus, you've been playing pretty hard, and you're going to come out into a bit of a stronger verse for this one. So again, the same chords, you got the F, you got the G minor 7, flat 13, and you got the B flat major. Now the only difference here is you're going to play the chord like this. I'm doing there is basically if you look at the first four strings like in the verse when I was playing with my fingers we're gonna play one one chord four three two one one chord four three two and that's basically it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat that structure over those three chords so it goes like this That's the second verse, and you're going to repeat that until you get to the chorus. So, now that you know the verse chords, uh, you're going to go straight into the chorus. Uh, there's no kind of pre-chorus or bridge that leads into the chorus. That's all done using the melody from the vocal. So you go straight into the chorus chords. Now, you were picking the verse up until then, so when you play that uh, B flat major 7, you're going to go straight into the picking style, and you go straight onto this F major seven. And it's all the same kind of F major you had down here. You're gonna play it all the way up here on the 10th fret. So it goes like this. And you're really trying to drive the bottom strings here because you're trying to get the aggression out of the chord and uh, the drive will help on that. F major seven, and straight after that, you're gonna play an F sharp uh, diminished seven, which is basically you're just going to move uh, your middle finger onto the F sharp here. So it goes like this. And that's a great chord to kind of add any tension to your chord sequence. It's really kind of making you think something's going to happen very soon. So you got the F major seven. To 
the F sharp diminished seven, and then you're going to resolve the whole thing with the G minor seven, and it's not the uh, flat thirteen this time. Finish it all off, kind of round off the whole chorus with uh, B flat major. So this is the whole chorus now. So uh, the last bit of the song is the outro and the outro is kind of a mix of all the sections uh, you're playing with the pick here and it's basically just two chords you've got uh, the F major and the B flat major and the way you play it is you're kind of mimicking the verse two in that same way that we were doing the whole like one one chord four three two chord you're going to pump that F until the whole band come in then you move up to the B flat and then we're going to do kind of like a muted, a muted strum until the whole band come in and you smash it on the F. So it sounds a little bit like this. So that's how it sounds, it's kind of got that epic feel to it. And when the whole band's in it, you're really going to dig into those strings. So it's really easy. It's just the, the F and the B flat, and you carry on throughout. And I do a few fun things with the B flat, kind of moving my pinky everywhere, just to make it more exciting uh, for yourself. Um, and that's the song, really. There are kind of three sections, only a few chords. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please send us a video of you guys doing it, too. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick playthrough um, and show you how I play mad. I thought I saw something in the corner of your eye A flashing of light Diamond in the sky Did I fall into them deep Like the other time Was headed to the river When I caught the sight Flashback moment Got me looking twice Did I fall into them deep Did I let it slide I swear it's a leap, but I'm getting high And I thought I saw you in the middle of the night Do I take the phone, do I let it slide
how to play mad. So, send us your videos. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you soon.